Peter, um, I see this is also an EB5 project um, where we can utilize EB5 money. Maybe just give us a snapshot of the urgency with regards to the EB5 levels that is currently under discussion in Washington. What's your take well, on that? Well, EB5 has been around for the last 25 odd years and it's been at a $500,000 entry level and they are proposing to put that up. They haven't had the chance yet. I think the government would love to shove it up to one and a half, maybe even two million. Right now they're talking of 1.3, somewhere between 800 and 1.3, but one never knows. We have a certain amount of time left on these developments to get the people in and get it going, after which the price will go up. There's no doubt. So all that means is really, if you want a green card right now, it's $500,000. If you want it in a year's time, it's gonna cost you one and a half million dollars, yeah. or somewhere in that vicinity. Yeah, so from so there's the, urgency in terms of EB-5, for yeah. sure. So what's unique about these projects is that if you get an EB-5 um, green card at 500000 you can still then stay in the deal as a normal investor, which is quite a unique. Absolutely. It's absolutely. absolutely unique and it makes a lot of sense from an investment perspective. Yeah. All of our projects, the EB-5, are based on, on true yields and returns rather than just getting a green card. The green cards decide, funnily enough, projects are economically sound, economically viable with good yields. Thank you, Peter.